Hey. Bro. <clears throat> How's it going? Last time we were in a tree. Now we're not. Also, I changed my <laughs> equalizer a bit, not equalizer, uh, my compressor a little bit, so I need to make sure that I still sound okay. Checking, checking. Was pixelation to hide personal info? Yeah, sort of. Hello, Jazio. Let's see. Because now it, it seems a little quiet to me. I don't know. You know what, let's just get in the game and check there. Ba da ba da ba da ba 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 Checking, testing, do the thing. Ba da da ba. All right, test, testing, testing. Yeah, this is probably good. I don't know. Maybe like here, like right here, maybe. Checking, testing, eating a taco. Okay, I'll just- I'll just leave it where it was. Okay. But anyway, yeah, it, it does show that Mario is currently yellow. Anyway, what were we doing? Man, no Luigi's over here. There's a key up top. See, these guys have got anything new to say? N no. No, he has no new dialogue. Okay. You got anything new, Toadman? Yeah, I'm working on it. Bucket. But yeah, there's a key up here. I feel like I had a mission for a key, but I don't know if this is it. See, what's in here? I mean, I don't have any money to buy any of it. I would like to get that, but I, yeah, like I said, I'm broke. Because I bought the Wario outfit. So what was, what was my mission again? Oh, it's over here. So what was my mission again? Need a key. Garf. Hey, John. I lost the house key. You took all my trouble? You? Okay, then please find my key. Be quick about it. If someone else finds my key, they'll be able to get into my house, so I'll stand guard. I think I dropped my key when I went to the bad shop, but I'm not sure. Yeah, this is it right here. 
Very convenient. Yes, my key. I can finally get inside my house again. Home sweet home. Please take this as payment for your efforts, all right? Oh, okay. You solved the trouble. Well, let me come in your house. We don't have much here, but make yourself at home if you want. You pre-ordered Banana Mania. I haven't, because honestly, I still have yet to play the first two games in their entirety. <clears throat> oh, but Rumble. Yeah, Banana, you know, Banana something. Super Monkey Ball. Banana, go pay your tax. Banana, go to the polls. Okay, let's take on another trouble then. Safe delivery. This is McGoomba, and I have a simple task. I need to have something delivered. Fortunately, for reasons I won't mention, I can't be seen walking around Rogueport. Meet me behind Zest T's house at Rogueport Square. Yeah, sounds good to me. I didn't do Troubles until I finished Chapter 3. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna do a bunch of them or what. I, I don't know. I don't know what the plan is today. You want something, chump? This is the fortress of the Robo Thieves, you lost. What business brings a chump like you to a place like this? Say it ain't vacation. What's that? You wanna meet that lying, cheating, stealing, no good jerky for brains, Don Pianta? Yeah. Real thieves like us end up poor as dirt, never catching a break because of that guy. Did you come here knowing all that? And you know that scumbag demands protection money from us too, the yeah? You know all that, and you still want to us to tell you how you can meet that crumb? Fine, Mr. Insensitive Jerk, but it'll cost you 64 coins. And no budging on a price, not a single coin. Inside info is pricey, them's the breaks. I, I don't I don't got the money, I don't have it. What? Oh, fine, I get it. Don't want to pay, huh? Fine, no pay, no way, I say. Come back when you're ready to stop being a cheapskate. I don't, I don't have it. It's literally not there. Yeah, just wedge. Wedge. And yeah, I can't go in there. So we're just gonna have to... I don't know, figure it out. Gonna have to smash roaches for money. Was there something up here? If it is, I got it. <coughs> I got it, good. <laughs> well, let's go see what the guy behind the house wants. And maybe we'll stumble into some more money. The things I do for Wario. Oh my god, fella, it looks like you've had a color splash. Yeah, he's already said that. You never know who will be watching, so let's do this thing quick. Take this package to Goomfrey. You'll find him in front of Frankly's place. And try not to be seen. Why, well, I, I don't know how possible that is. I can turn sideways. But that doesn't really that doesn't really stop me from being seen. Hey you the guy. The package. Yep, that's it. I'll dispose of this in a way no one will ever find it. Tell McGoomba I said so. 
And do me a favor, forget all this. You hear me? It never happened. For your sake. We never spoke. Forget everything. And when you give McGoomba my message, he'll give you your compensation. Remember, this deal won't be done until you give my message to McGoomba. <laughs> I mean, okay. That was pretty simple. <laughs> that was pretty... That was pretty simple. Just walk a little bit to the east. Yeah, okay, 30. Uh, yep, that's enough to get the information that I require. Oh. Hang on, can I get these now? Yes, I can. Thank you. Oh, but the panel doesn't go away after I've already got it. Any more? Any more? Yeah, compulsively save, baby. Save every three seconds. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just remembered. We, we got some of these that we can spend. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess we can do both of them. So, might as well. Jazubi! Jazubi! Oh, I hit the wrong button. Had to clear my throat a little bit. I got a problem with that. Yes, I do. Yes. Sometimes Yakuza Zero fails to save because of missing bites, and then it shuffles the equipment to non-equipment items. <laughs> Wait, you mean like, uh... Kiryu puts on a key? He puts on, like, a, a door key on his head? <laughs> Kiryu could be wearing a cup of whiskey. <laughs> That is pretty funny, but yeah, it sounds annoying. Alright, let's pay the man. The snail. The snail man. If you save over that and it works, your defense and perks are just gone. Yeah, that sounds not fun. That sounds very bad. Alright, take your dirty money. Yes, I mean, good call. You're a shrewd businessman. 64 coins. On the nose. Yeah, it is pretty on the nose. Okay, then clean those ears out and listen here. At the store next to the Pianta Parlor in the west part of the Mushroom Kingdom, buy a dried mushroom, then a dizzy dial. Oh, I need more money. Hey, Greeny. And also, that sounds awfully familiar. Don't you think? Like, it feels like we've done that before. Make sure you buy them in that m order. Dried mushroom, dizzy dial. You got that? Do that and the shopkeeper will ask you what your favorite color is. You answer yellow. Oh, well, you know, that might just be my favorite color right now. See, yellow is the password for getting into Don scum Scumbag's oh-so-comfy office. You got all that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dried mushroom, dizzy dial, yellow. But I'm gonna need- I'm gonna need more money in order to buy... the- the items that I need to buy. Also... The old lady's still blocking my way over there, so... I have to find her contact lens. Maybe you should do some troubles. I, I might.
Hey. Don't be mean to the rats. Those are cockroaches. And trust me, they deserve it. Oh, wait, we didn't read this. Exnoth terrorizing Boggly Woods have withdrawn. Just what was their motive? Graffiti corner. Whatever happened to that squishy little puny guy? I miss him. <laughs> Toadette, the animal lover. Oh, hey, she, she is mentioned. I know there's got to be a panel around here. Oh, crap. Hold on just a sec. Real time sync. Hang on, get out of here. Stop sinking. I don't know what you're sinking about, but stop it. Come on, where? Where's the panel? I know it's here. Yep, there it is. Well, we haven't been down here in a little while. Hey, you're Mario. Wow, this is so cool. I never thought I'd meet a celebrity out here. Oh, I know. You want to make an investment, Mario? My name's Lumpy, and I'm headed out to Dry Dry Desert to prospect for oil. I've lived my life hoping to get rich quick, and now my time has come. But I still don't have enough startup funds. Could you please lend me some money? I, I have four coins. Fine, whatever. Be that way. It's your call. I'll be here for a while yet, in case you want to come to your senses and want to invest. Just let me know. No matter how much I work, it seems like I'll never get filthy rich. Of course, I ain't, ain't like I got a choice. Gotta work to live, which means... Huff, hoof, huff, hoof, hoof. Out of the way, you dock rat, and move your stinking self. Yep, the world is sure is full of strange and mind-warpingly wonderful places, all right. What's that? Boggy Woods? Huh? Never heard of him. I'd like to see him one day. Listen, mate. You run into all sorts of trouble if you don't keep your eyes peeled. This is rogue port, after all. This town's rotten with, with crooks, thieves, and hooligans. My older brother left port just the other day. Wonder how he's doing now. Just hope he comes back in one piece. One piece! The one piece is real? Any panels? Hmm. No, it doesn't seem like it. But there is fascinating dialogue down here. Once a great pirate named Cortez wreaked havoc on these seas, you know. People down still tell stories about that guy. He's like a legend. Good winds blow through this old port. Right filthy as it is, dreams still come true here. Didn't mean to... I didn't mean to press the shoulder button again. Oh, <laughs> she remembers the, the pattern for you. Okay, well, I haven't seen... I haven't seen a contact lens anywhere, so... So, yeah, I probably just gotta do some more troubles. Or have I talked- have I talked to Franklin? No, he- yeah, he's the one who told me to go over there. Okay, we're troubling. We are troubling. Competitor research. This is Arfur. I want to open a new shop, but I need help setting my prices. But since I can't go into a competitor shop, I need some research done. I need the price of fire flowers, sleepy sheep, and tasty tonics in Rogueport. I'll meet you in front of this building to make the exchange. Yeah. Okay, I think that's him right there. So let's, let's head over to the shop. 
and we'll we'll jot down <clears throat> we'll jot down the old prices. Oh, I already forgot what items he said. It's like a mushroom, a fire flower, and a tonic, I want to say. No, wait. Mushroom's five, fire flower's ten, tonic is three. Check prices for me? Yes. Perfect. Okay, I'm ready. First, how much are they asking for fire flowers? Ten. I see. And for sleepy sheep? Oh, I, for, I didn't see the sleepy sheep. <laughs> Eight. Okay. <laughs> okay. And how about tasty tonic? How much is that? Three. Wow, that's rough. Those are some low prices. I can't believe they're selling that low. Hmm, even if I try to compete with them, I don't think I can profit. But it is certainly helpful information. Here's your reward. Good work. Alright. Find this guy. Let's, let's see, are there any- <laughs> Hit me, please. Let's see, are there any, uh... Are there any that seem particularly po- like, pertinent? Hmm. Find this guy. By Goomther. Find the guy that pulled off credit card fraud on me. Yeah, didn't- didn't somebody say they did that? Be in Rogueport Square. If you want a lot of coins, I'm gonna recommend find my dad. Well, I gotta find, uh... I gotta find the, uh, contact lens. That's what I need to find. Don't- don't tell me, though. I'll- I'll figure it out. We gotta play the game normal. Normal and regular-like. Funny I could get up here. I mean, I haven't checked in this house again. Snooping as usual, I see! Yeah, I'm just gonna steal your cockroach money. I really wish they had restored the murder, though. That would have made me happy. What's that? You want a contact lens, you say? Yeah. Hmm, wait just a moment. <laughs> Gee, fella, I'm sorry, but we don't have anything in stock right now. Tough luck, I know. I can special order one for you, but it'll take a while. Check back soon, okay? Okay. Well, yes, we're doing troubles. We're doing more troubles. Oh, no, you're the wrong guy. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. How about you? You the right guy? Yeah. Hey, you're here to handle my trouble, aren't you? Then listen up. Larson the Bandit pulled some credit card fraud on me and took my dough. I want to rough him up for it, but the guy's too wise and I can never catch him. He's hiding somewhere here in Rogueport. I want you to find him. 
By the way, bandits are those guys in blue. Yeah, I know. I played Yoshi's Island. There's several in Rogueport, but this one will fess up once you grill him. Do this and you'll get your reward. I'm counting on you. I don't know. I don't... Grilling him seems a little barbaric, don't you think? I could stir-fry him if you want. Okay, so we're looking for Larson. You get it as like Larceny. Oh. Yeah, it's a little dirty. That's not him, though. This is unnamed bandit. Luigi already fried a blooper. True. But, you know, I'm... No offense, I'm not looking to emulate Luigi. Oh. Oh, I guess the order's in. Ah, yeah. That's some fast shipping. Assuming you can still see well enough to read this email. Oh, yeah, here he is. You got a problem? What are you looking at? Unless you got business with me, scram. What? You want me to return the money I swindled? What are you, the fraud police? Sheesh, how did I let myself get caught? Well, okay. Yeah, I know you're standing outside, but first I'm looking for the man. I mean, he might be in East Town for all I know. Is there any extra bandit in here? Nope. Just gonna check for this guy real quick. Hang on, I'll pick it up. Uh, don't worry, I got this. I got this, don't worry. I have got this, I will get it. I will pick up my order. Oh-ho! Cripes, the fraud police! You don't give up easy, do ya? You? you can't make me pay! Okay, well this guy's gonna run a, a whole bunch of places. I mean, he could- we didn't see which way he went. He could be in East Town. <laughs> hey, valued customer, your contact lens is in. Please drop by our shop. Okay. Okay. Does Mario really need this? Just the one contact lens, though. Doesn't come with a case or any... Like... Any of that juice. Did you bring me my contact lens, Mr. Squishy? Yes. Oh, sweet relief, thank you. Finally, the world is crisp and clear again. I can see. Oh, I'm so happy. Be careful from now on. People generally don't like having their stuff stomped on. Oh, so it's you again, huh, Mr. Stompalot? Well, my name is Zesty. I may not look like a chef, but I'm actually quite good. If you bring me ingredients, my cooking skills burst to life and culinary magic happens. Want me to whip up something for you right now? Yeah. I've been waiting for this moment. Yeah, cook up the mushroom. Cook it up. That is way faster than Paper Mario 64. There we go. Yeah, I might try one more thing. Let's try a power punch. Mike Tyson's intergalactic power punch. Oh, and you can skip it! You can skip it! B Game of the year. Game of the year. 
Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, may- uh, honey syrup. Make me some honey. Yeah, boy. Fresh juice. Mm, I don't know if I want to use my other items. Yeah, she's not as nice as, uh... She's not as nice as the old girl from <laughs> from the first game, though. I want to see what she can do with a tasty tonic. Hang on, do you want my crappy food? <laughs> Okie doke. Alright, now show, show me what you can do. Show me what you can do. With the tonic. Anything good? Okay, no. Tonic does not- is not good. Well, I'm scared to try anything else. Does it keep track of, uh... Yes, it does. It keeps track of what t you have already made. Does it tell you the recipe? Yeah. So that's good. That also means I'm going to have to make every recipe in the game. Okay, and there's some art. Oh, wait. Oh, collect all the star pieces here. Oh, you gotta find all the star pieces. Okay. Sound gallery. Like all the shine sprites in Rogueport. Yeah, so sound test. And I'm guessing if you want the original game tracks, you have to be wearing the badge when you come in here. And yeah, there is a think version of the battle themes, which is cool. Hang on, let me just mark all of these as seen. And yeah, big fan of the Magnus Von Grapple theme. Yeah, big fan of that remix. Wait, is there anything else here I haven't looked at? Badge list. Oh yeah, it keeps track of every badge you've got. What tattles you've got. Notes. Oh, you can see the... Ah. Ah. Yeah, so you got that too. Pretty good, pretty good. You know what, we'll, we'll cook up a POW block just to see what happens. Just to see what the heck happens. You know, we got two of them. Might as well. Just, just, just to see what the heck happens. Okay, nothing good. Nothing good happens. Okay, no, that'll be it for me. But now we can go to West Rogueport. So let's do it. A whole new section of the town to explore. And this place looks a bit nicer than the rest of town. The flowers help. Ah, how refreshing. This is my favorite place. It's the only peaceful area in all of Rogueport. And there's a fountain. Don Pianta? Are you kidding? Ordinary guys like me never get to meet a guy like him. Even if you were to meet him, there's no telling what he might do to you. If you really, really want to see him, ask the Robbo boss on the east side about him. Yeah, I bet Ishnail will know how to get in touch with Don Pianta. Yeah, I already got that covered. The Happy Lucky Lottery Board. So you can play the lottery. Today's winning number. Dum da da dum da doo. 
Every day's a lucky day with happy lucky lottery. With new numbers every day, this lottery's fun and exploding with excitement. I'd love to tell you more. Tell me more. Happy Lucky Lottery's so special, you pick numbers. They might win each day. Just buy your lottery ticket here, one at a time. Buy another if you change your mind. Then check back later on this board to see if your number has come in. If your number matches the day's draw, you get a super happy lucky prize. The day's number is drawn each night at midnight. If you play and check the board every day, your number's sure to come in eventually. When I say midnight, I mean according to your clock at home. No thanks, I got it. Yeah, I'll buy a ticket. Oh, I probably need more money in order to get the items in the shop. Okay, your number's 7657. You can use the same number until you win the jackpot. Play lucky and happy. Check the board right now. Nope. Sorry, it's an unlucky day. Your ticket isn't a winner today. But every day brings a new chance, so try again, okay? Here's a consolation prize. Oh, thank you. Very nice of you. I almost fell out of that grate! Man, that was close! I know where that thing leads to, too! All too well, and I don't want to go there! Going to the theater is like my hobby or something. I mean, the reason I like drama so much is because I live in a town like this. It hasn't been as fun lately since my favorite actress left the stage for good. It's torture for fans like me. That's a toad from the west side. She's a big theater goer and apparently also a raving fan of flurries. Oh, I can help you with that. I can help you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Madam Flurry. Eek! I'm such a huge fan. I can't believe I saw you here. Uh, okay. Fair enough. Triangle house. Just, just standing on the bed up there. Gonna rummage through your cabinet. Yet another day dwindles away while I loaf in bed doing nothing. Oh, guess what? I won first prize at the Happy Lucky Lottery today, but... I didn't even go outside. I should have gone to collect my prize. Oh well, I'm already rich anyway, so whatever. Oh. That Koopa lives here. He must have been born lucky, because he always succeeds. He has all the money he'll ever need, but I think he's still unfulfilled somehow. Hmm. Then again, that doesn't surprise me, since he spends all day in bed. Just goes to show you can't buy happiness, and you should occasionally leave bed. Yeah, he doesn't even have a bathroom in here. Just shit in the bed all day, every day. My mom just plays games all day long. She's never, ever home. It's terrible. I think this kid lives here. He's afraid to go outside, so he spends all day in here. He's got some family issues, I think, but it's not our place to stick our noses in. Kids his age have so much to worry about, but don't we all? Yeah, boy. Ugh, my wife spends all day in the parlor, so I never get anywhere on my novel. I wish I could have fun too. I want to go to Glitzville and see the matches. The guy's a novelist and the owner of this house. He has great ideas, but can't write unless he's concentrating. I think he just psychs himself out. I mean, he's got the talent and all. Yeah, remember that, everybody. Remember that. Okay, now I'm gonna go back here. Yeah, that's the way to Glitzville, I think. Flight goes to Glitzville. You need a ticket to travel with us. Hey, Zero Janitor. Good turnout today so far. I love how his cloud has sunglasses. That's very good. I tell you, I just like standing here gazing at the train more than I would like riding it. Because if I were to ride, I wouldn't get to see how cool its main engine looks. Yeah, looking at it's better. But if I could just afford a ticket, I might ride it once. 
That's Lackey, a train-loving Lakitu. Very imaginative name. All this guy does is sit here and watch trains. I'm sure he'd love to ride the XS Express, but he can't afford a ticket. It'd be cool if he saved up enough to ride it just once in his life, you know? But yeah, we're not riding this thing. Ah, you gotta love train platforms, man. I bet this place has seen as many dramatic encounters as there are stars in space. Wow, the thought of it all. I just love it. This girl's always here. She's fixated on romantic scenes in train stations. I see where she comes from. Train station platforms do have that romantic air. This is Lackey. I would not fuck him, by the way. Okay, let's... Let's go into the sewer. Alright, now we're down here. Eh, eh, eh. Okay, what's... What's around? There's some new sewer things we can look at. Anything cool over here? No. Oh wait, there's a star piece behind the pillar. So technically, yes. Doors locked, okay. Oh wow. Underground town. With Mario paint sound effects. You can kinda just weasel around here, I guess. Soft stomp. Ooh, that's good. Wedge. Wedge. Why buy badges when you can find them for free? Maybe this is where Sticker Star got the idea. We're down below Rogueport. Say, folks say these are the ruins of a 1,000 year old town. Even though these buildings are crumbling, some seem safer than those above us. The people living here mostly can't show their faces above for one reason or another. Some have actually started successful businesses here though. What a hardy bunch. Oh, did you come here to do research too? Excuse me? You're an adventurer? Really? Wow. That's the first time I've ever heard someone describe their occupation as adventurer. Yeah, well, I'm a plumber technically, but the, the calls haven't been coming in. This little Mauser seems to be an archaeologist, and she's here to research the underground. Oh, female mouse. But she's worried about her partner all the time, so she's not making much progress. I feel, like, so bad for her. Your Cosmo voice has a little- your, your Mario voice has a little too much Cosmo. Uh, Timmy, you can't wish- <laughs> You can't wish for everyone to go to hell, no matter what. Oh, I get it. You're trying to open that giant door way down there, aren't you? What do you think is behind that thing, huh? That's a subterranean Goomba. I think he just moved down here recently. Even even so, he seems to know a lot about these ruins. What's he do for a living? Yo, Eddie the Mask here. Sports fan extraordinaire. You know about stylish moves? Yes. Just press A with perfect timing during an attack to pull off a stylish move. If you do it right, the crowd will just go wild. And some attacks have multiple ones. Each attack has different timing, but I'll share one with you. Try pressing A right after fl flurry. B yeah, I know about that. Sound hard? Well, it ain't easy. That's why you gotta practice, yo. That's Eddie the Mask. He's some kind of health fanatic. A lot of some intense folks down here, huh? Uh, yeah, this is another spot where in the original game she called him a nutter. She called him a, a real loon. Lots of intense folks down here, huh? This one's the healthy kind of intense, though, so he knows about stylish moves. Ask him. I will say, though, that I do think the, uh, the censored version does kind of flow off the tongue a little bit better, though. You could probably jump over that, but I don't want to because I'm scared I'll have to go through all this again. Yeah, it, it turns out Nintendo didn't actually care about offending, like, neurodivergent people. They just didn't want people to make nut jokes. They saw people saying, like... <laughs> Luigi's Max Nut meme, and they were just like, "No, nah, we gotta cut that out." Oh, a visitor, eh? Hey, man, this dude knows everything. He'll give you some seriously good advice. Of course, you have to pay him for it. Yeah, that's the way it goes. 
The bandit who lives underground. He seems to come by the shop often. Must like talking to Wonky and the shop owner, huh? Go figure. Yeah, see, see, if you want to know why New Paper Mario is not good, look at this. Look at this man. Keep looking. Okay. That's Wonky, the go-to guy for useful info. He looks a bit iffy, but I think his tips are okay. Just make sure you get your money's worth. Not that you'll know until you pay. I, I don't think I want to pay him. Howdy, my name's Wonky and I just know stuff. Somebody ring the Wonkster. I may not look like much, but I know a thing or two. You'd better believe it. And who knows, stuff I know may even be stuff that could help you. So if you want to ask me a question, just speak up and ask away. If you pay me five coins, I can tell you about the Legend of Rogueport. Oh, okay, actually. Yeah, I'd like to know that. You've heard about the legendary treasure hidden beneath the Rogueport, right? Apparently, it's the vast fortune of that ancient forgotten civilization. Most people think that that's all just a silly old myth now, of course, but not wonky. According to my sources, it's the real deal. Huh? Who are my sources? Well, I can't really say, can I? That, my friend, is what's called a trade secret. And that is that. If you need anything else, just ask old Wonky. Uh... I don't know, I don't really like that info. And <laughs> the bob bomb sound. I know stuff too, seriously. Like, when the wind blows, the cradle will fall. I just don't know why it falls. Cause no one tells me! This bob lives down here. The pink color is really cute, but ironically, he's not very bright. Why is that ironic? Because it's a bright color? He's got his own ambitions of being an info guy like Wonky, selling tips for cash. But his tips don't even make a tiny little bit of sense. Hello? Can you say stupid? Dang. <laughs> you thought Goombario could be rude? There's a special refuge for all where we cultivate information. Herb Tea's place. Sit back and enjoy yourself. That's the cola bar owner, Herb T. He's a middle-aged guy with a wild mustache. He may look like just another glass polisher, but he's an old-school cola bartender. He's hilarious, but I'm sure he's heard his share of super depressing stuff, too. This bar underneath Rogueport still sells cola the old-fashioned way. It's interesting they'll get rid of insane but not stupid. Yeah, also, originally, Goombella commented on how the pink bob being pink was kind of non-indicative because it's like a girl color. Oh, wow. R weird and rare items that I absolutely cannot afford. Uh, hi there. Welcome to the Deep, da deep Down Depot. What, you, what, you, what can I sell? I mean, I might as well sell the mistake because it's not going to heal very much. I don't- I do not have much that's worth a lot of money. Okay, well, that's that, I suppose. We'll- we'll come back here at some point. There's more things left to find. But not for now. What's down here? There's a spiked spinia. Haha, <laughs> suck on that. Boy. But I gotta tattle ya. Gotta get that informazione. A whole heaping spaghetti pile of it. That's a spania. A spinia with spikes on its head. Looks meaner too. So sort of the same as a spinia. You ought to watch out for the spikes on his head, but otherwise, just wail on it. I gotta be honest, though. The way that thing spin spins makes me want to yak. I don't think people say that. Oh, I'm getting lightninged. Ow. <laughs> it's a spinia, but Spanish. Like Fred the Spaniard. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Nope, didn't get it. I I could swap partners, but I'm not even gonna bother. Oh, 
I got, that's right, I got a new attack I gotta show off at some point. I imagine you can't block item attacks. Yeah, it, it, it didn't seem to work when I tried it. Oh! The cube! Oh, that, that's good timing for that. I need it. I need that. Oh, you thought you could hide it. You thought you could hide it behind the little alcove. I bought her 50 coin charm. Well, I'm, I'm being a little frugal at the moment. Like, I'm trying to save my cash. For obvious reasons. Well, I, I don't want that. Dang, Flurry has a ton of health. Yeah, I'm getting the super guards pretty good on these guys. Yeah, as soon as I get more money, I am getting quick change. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I had to be Wario, okay? Listen, I understand that people do not necessarily agree with my financial decisions. That's all right. Yo, you're allowed to. But you know, I th there's a choice that a man's got to make in his life, and I made it. What's down here? Oh, it's more of this. Well, I mean... Ooh. Better choice, Waluigi emblem. There is no Waluigi emblem. Mobilizes. I thought there was. Oh, what? Oh, okay. That... That was a little weird. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I might need to practice with that one a little bit. <laughs> I'm thinking of equipping the W and L emblems at the same time. Yeah. Shh. So what's over here? Oh, you can't go through the bars over here. Oh, need flurry. Yeah, I didn't want to spoil it, but there's also a badge that does this for Luigi, and if you put them both on at the same time, then you get wall Luigi. So there's technically not a Waluigi emblem, but the- I am a moron. That's the closest Waluigi will ever get to having his own game. What controller are you using? Uh, this. That's what I've been using. But yeah, there's stuff over here. Oh yeah, one of those. I'm gonna blow this away. Oh, don't think I don't see this. Don't think it matters. <laughs> okay, now what's down this pipe? Oh, it's back to the pit. Well, I don't want to be in the pit. At least not right now. I mean, people did say they wanted me to, like, do early pit. Just to see how far I could get. Are there any panels over here? Not into the pit! It burns! 
<laughs> Captain in. Oh. There we go. But yeah, I did not... I did not want to go this way. I wanted to explore that other way a bit more. So we're gonna have to... Go back. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Now what is this? Oh, hey, it's the new room. Yeah, so this is a thing they added in the remake. They got, like, quick travel. So this was sort of a thing in 64, but not in Thousand Year Door. So they brought it back. What does that do? I hit the switch, I don't know what it does. Oh! Makes a pipe to this room in the Roveport Square. Cool. So that, that'll be a good way for me to get back up there quickly. And yeah, here's the room where I wanted to be before. A gradual syrup. It's syrup, but only gradually. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I want to see where these spit me out. Yeah, pipe to Petalburg. Yeah, I know, I know. Eh. Oh, I guess it spits me out in Petalburg. Yeah, there we are. Hey guys, what's up? What's up? It's me, I'm back. Take care of young Coops, will you, Mario? I'm looking forward to the day my boy comes home a full-grown Koopa. Okay, well, I don't necessarily want to be here right now. But we will revisit at some point, because there are, like, star pieces there I can get now. So yeah, they just kind of wedged it. Wedged it in there. Okay, but there's one pipe that I want to see underground before we move on. I don't remember having to do a lot of backtracking to previous locations in this game compared to 64. Yeah, I mean, not really. I don't know, it's a common complaint, but I never really felt it was that bad. But hey, I mean, if they want to streamline it a little bit, that's fine by me. There's some way to get to the background, clearly. Okay, what is this? Does this just take me back up to Rogueport? I think it does, yeah. Yeah, that's... You know, I, I probably should have figured that. But for some reason, it did not occur to me. Okay, do I have... Do I have any monies? I have 18 coins. Hey, GT. There's an obnoxious backtracking part in Chapter 7. By obnoxious, you mean hilarious, then yes. The boss told me to look after this place. You do anything funny, I'll toss you like that. He's a chuckster. Hey, how are you holding up? What's that you say? You're looking for Don Pianta, the person who runs this place? Well, if you want to learn more about the criminal underworld, the Rogueport, yes, yes, I talked to Ishnail. Also, there's a big Game Boy. I love checking my scores on this machine after playing games. I'm here all day. What? My family's worried about me? Oh, don't be silly. They don't mind. They're all so independent. They're happiest doing their own things. That's a parlor customer. I think she leaves her hubby home with the kids so she can play here all day long. Yeah, that's healthy. <laughs> this is the scoreboard. Psst, 
This place is run by the head of P the Pianta Syndicate. You can play fun games in here and win Pianta tokens to redeem for prizes. Yeah, play to win and get those prizes. Welcome to the parlor. Hey, hey, you're Mario, like the one and only. I know all about you. Rescuing Princess Peach is important work, but even heroes need relaxation. So what can I show you? Uh, never mind. Yeah, I don't have a member card. What is this? I am the Pianta Changer Changing Machine. I am called Pianta Changer. I exchange one Pianta for three coins. How many will you exchange? Uh, well, I don't. I don't have a member card either. Can I get? Can I get one? BB dot BB exchange complete. Can I? Can I get anything with this? I need four Piantas to play this game. Oh man. Also, freaking <laughs> the cat booze. Hi there, cutie. Welcome to West Side Goods. What can I do for you? Is there anything I can sell? I might have to sell these mushrooms. I think in the original Japanese version, uh, they were like Playboy bunnies. Which is just like a wild thing. Oh, sorry. Which is just a wild thing for them to put in, <laughs> to put in a kid's game. Okay, so they say I can play this one. Oh yeah, only one coin. Oh. Well, hang on. I want to try one more time. Gonna do some gambling. Japan doesn't have the same connotation of Playboy bunnies that we do. I mean, honestly, even the cat outfit is a little bit suggestive. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, so... So after... Pow... Like, Pianta, Pow... Ah! Crap! Well, I mean, I need to- I need to actually continue the quest line, so maybe if we have anything left over, we can try again. But, for now, I gotta buy... What was it? Dried mushroom, then a dizzy dialogue, and then yellow. Oh. Okay, free mushroom. Yeah, yeah, here we go. All right, mister, what color is your mustache? Th that's not the question I was told you would ask. Oop, what's wrong with me? That wasn't the right question at all. Uh, let's try this again. Uh, okay, mister, what's your favorite color? Yellow. Uh-huh, well, you check out. You know the password. So, um, you must be an acquaintance of Don Pianta. Good for you. You can go through the door. Go on with your bad self. That's Pika, a boo that works at Westside Goods. She's so pretty, and surprisingly unshy. I think her sister's Lala, the boo that works at the Pianta Parlor. Pika boo. Okay, okay, we're gonna gamble a little bit more. Alright, we got money, we got cash, we're gonna do it. Okay. I, I only have enough for the one. Or maybe two, but... If we can get more, we're never getting the quick change badge. <laughs> Quiet, you.
We're gonna be able to buy 10 quick change badges after this. Okay, okay. Mushroom. Okay, Pianta, Pianta, Mushroom. Okay. Yeah, see, there we go. How much was it to play the other game? Oh, four, okay. The spicy matching game. Get Piantas if you do well. Hard, but you can win a lot of Piantas. Hmm. I mean, what are the prizes? What do we got? What do we got for prizes? Uh, refund, super appeal. Oh, no. You. Cake mix. <laughs> Is this better or worse than going to, uh... Than going to, uh, Chai Guy's toy box. I have no idea. Okay, we're gonna go make a cake. We're gonna go make a cake. We are caking it. We are getting caked up. Wait, maybe not that. You're looking well of, or whatever. Okay, so we got that and two mushrooms. Okay, thank you. Ah, yes. A moose cake. Yeah, cook up these mushrooms too, please. Yes. Thank you. No, I think that'll be it. And Zero Janitor says they saw something behind the pipe. Oh, yep, right you are. I probably should have thought of that, but I didn't. So, there you go. <laughs> and there's the shine sprite just to taunt you a little bit. Hey, this is the officer of the Pianta Syndicate. Don't tell me you don't know that. If you got no business here, scram a lamb. What's with you, wise guy? I ain't too jolly today. If you got a beef, spit it out quick or this is gonna hurt. Excuse me? You wanna... You want me to give you a ticket for the blimp? See, not to me, that's funny. You a stand-up comedian? No, you oughta be. You got some noise asking me for that. I'm Don Pianta. I make crying babies weep. You want I should run this bomb out on a rail, boss? Look at him. What a rube. You must like pain, funny guy. You just looking for trouble or what? Not so fast, boys. I like this kid's gumption. He just came to talk, no? That ain't a crime. So we talk. You boys can wait till we're done before you rough him up, you got it? So, I gotta assume you got a reason for wanting a ticket for the blimp. Out with it. Was that? You wanna help some broad what got herself kidnapped? And to rescue this dame, you're out collecting the crystal stars? The crystal stars? Hey boss, ain't those things in that legend about that ancient treasure? Vinny, you're such a dope. Hey boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. 
Fairy tale nothing? That treasure's real. Everybody just shut it. I don't care if the treasure's real or not, get me? But I tell you, I can't help but like a guy who wants to rescue some girl he's gone gaga for. I made my decision. You do me a little favor, and you get your blimp ticket. Sound fair, right? Wait, what's the favor? It's easy. It's nothing. It's less than nothing. See, the thing is, my own daughter eloped with one of my young associates. They vanished, but it wasn't too long ago that they did. They ought to still be in town somewheres. You gotta find my daughter Francesca and this Frankie and bring them both here. If you are unable to bring them here, then all you gotta do is tell me where they are. Then I shall settle this matter quickly and with what is known as extreme prejudice. Boss! We don't know nothing about this guy. You can't rely on some goofball for this job. Yeah, boss, Vinny's right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. Quiet, you! It's because you lugs can't find her that I gotta swallow my pride and ask this guy. I hope you dopes ain't making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? Uh, no, boss, whatever you say goes, boss. I don't know what I was thinking, boss. It won't happen again, boss. You the boss, boss. Good. I'm glad we're all full of understanding for one another. So it's settled, yeah? Find my daughter and her friend, then come and see me. Francesca and Frankie look like this. And just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. That's the boss, Don Pianta. It's true what they say about power. This dude's got poise. But he's got a mean streak a mile wide. They call him the Don of untimely death. Still, he's got a really soft spot for his daughter, Francesca. Okie doke. Well, we're... We're going looking. Now, where would they be? Anybody over here? I don't see nobody. Mouth's a little dry. Ooh. Doing the, you know, the gangster voice very poorly does tend to dry out the old tongue. I like that the shopkeeper's still just standing outside there. Anybody over here? Yeah, there they are. Hey, back off, you creep. You want something or you just like sidling up to people? What? Daddy asked you to find us and take us to him? Frankie, what should we do if Daddy finds us now? Oh, I don't know, and the boat's coming any minute. <laughs> Dollface, maybe we ought to head back and try to talk to the boss one more time. No, Frankie, don't say that. Don't you know what he'll do to you if we do that? Francesca, baby doll. If we can't just talk calm with the boss, he'll understand. Oh, Frankie, my Frankie, don't you love me? Of course I love you, sugar cookie, more than anybody in the whole world. Then let's go, Frankie, let's run, to the ends of the earth if we have to. But Butter Biscuit, they already found us out. We can't keep running forever. We can, Frankie. The more you try to put out the frames of love, the hotter they boing. Until I marry you, no one will extinguish these flames of passion. No one. Don't you see, mister? I beg you. Pretend you never saw us. Can you do that? 
Uh... Okay. Oh, thank you, thank you. You're swell, mister. You're a real stand-up guy. What should we do, Mario? We have to tell Don Pianta something. But that stuff about our luck turning terrible didn't sound all that appetizing. I don't know. But frankly... I think Mario can take him. Unless he chucks me into a pit. If he does that, then we might be in for some trouble, but you know, if, if there's no pits around... Then we might be okay. <laughs> oh, look who's come back. The proverbial mustache. You gonna brighten my mood? So, give what you got. You know the whereabouts of these two runaways? I, I can't tell you. What? I must be going deaf. Did you just say that you couldn't tell me? You come waltzing in here and say that to me. To me! Do I look like a sucker to you? I warned you, wise guy. Fine. We're gonna need a mop to pick up what's left of you. Daddy, wait! Francesca! <laughs> boss, forgive me, boss. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Truly, I am. <laughs> Frankie, so back you come, head hung low, and with your tail between your legs. No, Daddy, don't hurt him. I'm the one who said we should elope. It was me. But Frankie said no. He said we should come back and talk to you, Daddy. Boss, listen, I don't care what you do to me. I deserve it all for being disloyal. But you gotta forgive her. Forgive her, your daughter, boss. That's all I ask. No, daddy. No, no, no. I'm the bad one. It's my fault. If you're gonna punish anyone, punish me. No, boss. It's all on me. It's all my responsibility. Uh, he's turning, like, vaguely Australian. All the blame right here. Daddy. Boss. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Enough quiet, both of you! <laughs> Francesca, my headstrong daughter, used up your last favor long ago. <laughs> and you, Frankie, you are like a son to me. This is how you repay your debt to Don Pianta? I feel such disappointment in you two. It's like a poison mushroom in my gut. Daddy! <laughs> Boss! I don't ever want to see your mugs again, you hear me? Get out of my sight, both of you. I don't care where, just go. That's what you expected me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go, do what you want, even if it means getting married. Oh, Daddy. Dad, no wait, I mean boss. Thank you so much, Daddy. Thanks for your blessing. Boss, I'll make your daughter a happy woman. I don't know what happened to my tongue when I said it. I'll make your daughter a happy woman. I promise you. She'll want for nothing. <laughs> Enough already. Just go. Go. <laughs> Dreska, seeing you this happy makes me happy too. Congra congrats, both of yous. Frankie, this is great. I mean, this way, the way this all turned out is a bit sappy. But hey, things turned out okay. Am I right? <laughs> Goodbye, Daddy. Farewell. And thank you. You still here? Hmm. Well, you found my daughter and got her back to come back here. And just look at how things turned out. What a complete and utter soap opera. But hey, a deal's a deal. You can have your blimp ticket, like I said. Who knew? That guy's got a smile in ear to ear. She's happy. That's good. Hey, I know you were the right man for the job. Thanks a bunch, Pally. Now go on, get your ugly mug out of my office. I got some intense imp emotions to com compartmentalize. That's a big word to say in that voice. Yay, awesome, we did it. Now we can go to Glitzville. I reckon so. 
it's we're already at an hour and a half in and we haven't even gotten to chapter three yet so we're probably not gonna be beating it this time but you know what we can at least we can at least go over there Gumbella acting very nonchalant about dealing with an organized crime family. I mean, you see where we are right now? This flight goes to Glitzville. You will need a ticket to travel with us. Yeah, here you go. Everything looks in order. Will you be coming aboard? Yes. Then please watch your step as you step aboard. But what if I go over here first? And do this instead? Yeah, you thought you could hide it from me, did you? You thought you could hide that from me? Use use mugs? Forget about it. Anyway, here we go. And everybody's in there. Chapter 3 of Glitz and Glory. I've already heard a bit of the Glitzville theme, but we'll have to hear the whole thing in a second. Is this the same cheap, cheap balloon that hands out the trophies in Mario Kart? You know, if that's intentional, then that is really funny. Well, no doubt about it, this is Glitzville. Can you believe it actually floats? Well, let's get to it, huh, Mario? Let's find that crystal star as fast as we can. Yeah, they turned it very China. Hey guys, check me out! Check me out! I'm a hot dog! Oh wait, sorry. <laughs> there you go, Mario. I don't even hate the new Paper Mario games, but how can anyone look at this and say there's not something missing about the current entries? New edition, by the way. Yeah, I felt like I didn't remember the, the hot dog cutout. But yeah, I, I mean, you know I agree, Isaac. Ice cream cone. A very good day to you, my good man. You have no doubt noticed Glitzville's many aromas. Well, it is th the finest of them is Mr. Hoggle's famous hot dogs. Only ten coins apiece. May I tempt you? I have no money at all. Okay. And there's a phone booth. The local time is now snack time. You gotta be real in the back. Hello? No, we don't deliver. Well, hi there, Murphy. It's Croop, the Mayor Petalberg. How's Coops? Mario, Professor Frankly here. Be careful out there. Hi, Mario. This is Punio. Stop by every now and then, will you? I, I just want to see what all we can get. Hi, am I the nine... <laughs> 987,304... No, I... The 987,034th caller. Did I win the free tickets? Hey, brother. Luigi here. How are you holding it up? Oh, who are you? Prank calls are uncool. 
Yeah, and then we got that. Yeah, okay. We're seeing repeats now. The souvenir shop. And these souvenirs kind of suck. Swaps the party members HP and FP. Huh. You read the blimp here, didn't you? Boy, I envy you. I'm dying to ride that thing, but air travel makes me yak. How did you get here? V did you come with the Lakitu? That's still air travel, you know. Or, she's she lives here. <laughs> where, where does she live? How the heck do you think she got here? Ponder that! This is what Goombella would do if she had fingers. Blitzville hangs out in the clouds. I'll give you two guesses why I like it here. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense to me. But yeah, I mean, this isn't bad. But... I definitely feel like they really changed the mood of this song. And I don't know how I feel about that. I haven't seen your face around here. And I know I'd remember a stash like that. Listen, guy, if you want to see a match, head on inside. That's the glitz pit. So, I feel like... If you haven't played this game, you need to hear the original song. Let me get this shine sprite. The free shine sprite. Oh wait, it's not free! Oh wait, no, it is free! Or, or it cost uh, a couple cents. Oh no! No! Oh wait, I can get rid of the dried mushroom. We're the World Wanderers, the Traveling Sisters 3, usually. But here in Glitzville, we're the rough and tumble battling in Traveling Sisters 3. But yeah, definitely think that the original song is better, but it's it's not it's not bad, it's just a really different vibe. But I I think modern Paper Mario just really likes the like, they're Asian-type instruments. Bonjour, monsieur de la moustache. You also come to this place? Right now, I am loopy with love for that ravishing creature over there. She is a sight to behold, and I saw her first. Aw, oh, it's that gross guy, Dupree. What's he doing in Glitzville? How annoying. You don't think he's... You don't think he thinks he's on an adventure with us, do you? I I know there's an original line that I really liked in the original game. Originally. And I don't know if that was it, but I'm scared to say what it is in case it wasn't. That fabulous mustache. I've seen it somewhere before. I know it. Yes, Mario. That is definitely a name I've heard somewhere before. Wow, this lady's so pretty. I wonder what her name is. As far as I can tell, she always quietly enjoys her juice in the corner, alone. What is it that mysterious women do to become so mysterious? What a mystery. Hey there, and welcome. Our doors are always open for thirsty f fight fans. So grab a frosty juice, take a load off, and enjoy. Today's main event will rule. I'm betting on Raw Cock. No matter who's fighting him. Uh, you don't look very familiar. You on vacation? Me? Just a lack of two who digs on combat sports, dude. Nice meeting you. Okay, is there anybody else? 
I don't think so. Oh wait, no, there's these ba bomb peeps. I mean, I talk to them. So this is Glitzville, hmm? Not a bad place, if a little on the top tawdry. What does that mean? Side. Perhaps I'll begin my stay here with a hostile buyout of that hot dog stand. I find this floating city concept quite fascinating. Yes, it intrigues me. I wonder what sort of coinage one might shell out to build a vacation home here. Tawdry is like gaudy. Oh, okay. Daddy, I'm hungry and I want to eat a hot dog and I want to eat it right now. That's Gold Bob the bob -omb. He's the head of a wealthy business, the Gold Bobbingtons. <laughs> He's got buckets of ducats, they say. I guess some folks are just good with money. Oh, I see that. I see that. <laughs> Gold Bob bomb pants. Anything over here? No? How about over here? No, seriously? Nothing? Okay, let's go in. Fancy. And schmancy, even. Oh, they also changed this song quite a bit. Welcome to the Glitz Pits! Here, savage battles go on each and every day! Move to one side, small fry. The only thing my camera shoots is famous athletes. Yo, out of the way, pal. I don't do stories on nobody. Sorry. Move it or lose it. Welcome to the Glitz Pit. There's a guy over there that gets paid to say that, right? Boy, it's hard to find a guy that that clean-cut and responsible these days. <sighs> I sigh just thinking about him. Dang. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, Miss Mouse. What you doing here? Oh, the ranking. He's the champ. Well, hello, Mr. Mustache. We meet again. Oh, okay. He's just hanging out here. Well, hello there, you big burly hunk of a man, you. You're smashing, dear. But I'm afraid I'm only interested in the champion, Rock Hawk. Tulu. Hey, how you doing, bud? I'm a freelance, freelance cameraman. I'm always after a scoop. Whoa, totally awesome. Check it out, Mario. Someone's about to catch a beating up there. That's right, uh, I think it's about time for you to feel the rock. Ooh. Stay down, pincushion. You don't want more of this. Why'd you even show up? Yeah, you hear me talking, wimpy? Stay out of the ring or feel the burn, baby. Tell you what, do about a million push-ups and then come see Uncle Rock Hawk. I'll give you another world-class spanking and send you crying home to mama again. Hoo-wee, champ! That was a great A whooping. Your thoughts on the match? You call that a match? Ain't there a fighter out there who can challenge me? No, no one can. Hear me? Ain't a fighter out there that can make me sweat. You got a bone to pick? Come fight me. Bring it. I'll take on anyone. You weaklings might as well stick to video game fighting, okay? Because I'll hurt you. Yeah, number one, baby. Rock Hawk is the champ. <laughs> Whoa, look, Mario. There, on the champ's belt. Isn't that a crystal star? Yeah, yeah, it totally is. Look at it sparkle. Gotta be a crystal star. Why would that be in such a sweaty old pit like this? What do you think we ought to do? We can't just steal that meathead's belt, can we? That's- this stinks, what do we do? We got to steal it, no! 
There you go, you and I are like totally on the same exact wavelength. Crack a few heads, take a few names, become champs, and nab that belt. So let's get busy, huh? I guess we gotta become official battlers first, right? Oh, I'm kinda getting stoked about this. Let's find out who runs this shindig. <laughs> What's that, bub? You wanna become a fighter? Mm. Well, if you're serious, you better go meet with Mr. Grubba, the promoter. Mr. Grubba's office is just down the hallway. You can't miss it. Head on through. Okay, down the hall, and to the left. Is there anything in here? Yes! Ooh. Ooh, a hot dog, but I can't actually take it in my inventory spool, I think. The guitar goes freaking hard, though. Oh. Okay, minor league locker room. Major league locker room. Is this his office? What's that? You want to be a fighter, bub? Oh, all right. Go on in. Mr. Grubb is just inside. Who in Tarnation are you, son? And who let you in? This is Grubba's office. Yeah, that's me, Grubba. And you, you're one rude dude coming in without knocking. What now? An athlete, huh? You wanna be a fighter? Ooh, yeah. That dude changed a thing or two, son. I always got time for an up and comer. Yep, this place is packed to the gills with young fighters, all primed and a raring to go. I gotta say, son, you're a bit skinny for my taste, but I'm willing to give you a shot. Now, play me straight, son. You wanna live the grimmest life of a champ, don't you? All right, all right, son. I hear where you're coming from, son, loud and clear. When I was just a poor pup, I didn't give a pokey's patoot for fancy big city ways. But I jumped into the world of martial arts and fought my way to fame and riches. And know what I realized? Being rich and famous is diggity dang dynamite. Now, I can't mix it up in the ring no more, but I earned enough to set me for life. You reading me here, son? Dreams do come true, even if they ain't yours exactly. Yep, that's the key, son. Dream big and you'll get big. That's the winner's way. And when you make it big, you'll look back at all those small dreamers and laugh. You reading me here, son? That's the spirit chief. Here, let's have a little walk and talk. Come on now. Okay, he's walking, but he ain't talking. I love the carpet. Now, how you like this part? Just feast your eyes, go on. This, this is the champion's room. Isn't it a sight? Deluxe. You become champ, son, and you get the key to this room. That ain't all, of course. That's on top of the big money and screaming fans. Yeah, no doubt about it, son. Apply yourself and a life of wealth and comfort awaits. Now, uh, here we have the Major League locker room. A lot of contenders here. Also, I like that if you look, the screen here is, is a Game Boy Advance. And, and what's funny is they made it look more like a Game Boy Advance for this version. <laughs> Like, originally, it was very square, but they turned it into a rectangle. What do you think, son? Huh? Not exactly glamorous, but it's clean and comfortable. Totally sanitary, too. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I care about my fighters, darn it. Uh, 
Now, I'm sure you know this already, son, but there ain't but one world champion. Clawing your way to the top and taking the belt to become champ and it ain't an easy thing. But that's the point, son. Wouldn't be worth it if there weren't no challenge. I can see you got the fire for it, too, part. You got the eye of the tiger there. You're gonna be champ. I can just feel it. I ain't never been so sure about a fighter. Oh, hey, one other thing. You gotta sign an itty-bitty contract to be a fighter. It ain't no thing. Just takes a second or two of your time. Just jot your name here, okay? Oh, they didn't animate him signing the contract. All right, son, use a magical girl now. I mean a wrestler. I mean a fighter. <laughs> Best thing you ever done, son. Now, your Mario ain't a bad handle. Still, I gotta say, part lacks a little punch as a fighter's name. Get me? Let me see here. Bah. Hooey, I got it. From now on, you're gonna be the Great Gonzalez. Ooh, ain't that a beaut. Dang if that ain't a stroke of genius. Name that good comes around once in a lifetime. Yep, everyone will soon bow before the great Gonzalez. Make me proud, son. Well, now that we got the business side out of the way. Jolene, could you come in here a minute, darling? Yes, sir, you wish to see me? Sure did, hon. Jolene, this is the great Gonzalez, our newest rising star. Be a peach and take him on down to the minor league locker room, alrighty? Right away, sir. Mr. Gonzalez, if you would be so kind, please follow me. As you know, you are a contracted fighter now, so you must abide by some rules. First and foremost, what Mr. Grubba says goes, period. You must do what he says. Also, as per your contract, you cannot quit until Mr. Grubba releases you. There are many other small guidelines that I will explain as they become relevant. Wow. Well, here we are. This is your locker room. You're starting in the minor league, of course, as you've just now started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, I suggest you work your way up through the ranks. When you're ready to fight, you just log onto this computer terminal here. Mr. Grubba will then decide who you'll match up against. You will have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Walk up to the screen and log on with A. Then pick Ranked Match. Oh, it even has the bio sound. Well, howdy, Gonzalez. Ready to get your fist dirty, huh? There you go, son. I got a treat for you. Your first battle's gonna be against the Goomba Bros. Don't worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? Hey, we want to get everyone fired up, though, so appeal to the crowd at least once. You got any questions about the detail rules? Just ask the lovely Miss Jolene, okay, son? Well, good luck, pard. Okay, your battle is reserved. At this point, you just wait until security comes for you. Fighting is pretty basic. The team that drops the opponent's HP to zero first wins. Simply winning is not enough. When Mr. Grubba sets the fight conditions, follow them. In this case, the condition is to appeal to the crowd at least once. Fairly easy. If you satisfy the condition and win, you can battle a higher ranked opponent next. If you lose the match or don't satisfy the condition, your rank will say the same. If you can get your rank up to 11th, you'll get a shot at the Major League. That's about all you need to know for now. Did you understand all that? Yes. Okay, good. For now, just wait until security comes to get you, Mr. Gonzalez. <laughs> I do believe I'll go out for my regular stroll soon. That's Bandy Andy. He's a competitor in this league, but he's never here. Maybe he just doesn't care about being champion. Open everybody locker. Oh, okay. Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. Okay, security's here to... <laughs> security's here to escort you to the ring. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. So yeah, gotta, gotta do an appeal. Wait, hang on. 
Take care of yourself, man. And don't make any rookie mistakes, know what I mean? If you have any questions, feel free to bomb ask me. I outrank you after all. Bomb! Rock mustache is a fighter? Okay, let's- let's go. Squared off next, folks, are the meteorite hardheads, the Goomba Bros. And a newcomer with a hankering for hammering, the Great Gonzalez. The Goomba Bros have been waiting and getting all head up for the fight. Let's check in. How you do, Goomba Bros? Y'all feeling- how y'all feeling today? You ready for this fight? Ha, are you kidding, man? We're always ready to bonk a fool or two. Who is this Gonzalez rookie? A cocky idiot, that's who. Waiting just makes us mad. We're gonna teach this tardy punk how to respect fighters with seniority. I think maybe you ought to call an ambulance for him now, just to save time later. Hot diggity dang, fight fans. There's the great Gonzalez now, striding on up. I tell you, this rookie's got some guts, strolling up late like he owns the place. Whoo! Okay now, Gonzalez, listen up. Let me just explain the rules of the match real quick. Have a bonk, punk. Oh, the remix. They- those total cowards! Those chickens attacked us before the bell rang. Oh, that is it. Come on, we aren't losing the punk like them. Let's waste them. Ah, quit crying, will ya? That was just a little welcome gift for the rookie. Where's our thank you? Appeal to the crowd, at least once. Okay. Oh, wait, no, I don't want that. Do they just count as regular Goombas? For the purposes of Tattle? Oh, uh, yep. 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 Okay, yeah, they're just- they're just Goomber. Yeah, trying to do stylish on that is pretty difficult, honestly. I have trouble with that one. Ugh. The great Gonzalez wins. Tell me, son, what was this first taste of victory like? It was okay, I guess. <laughs> Listen to this guy. He's like a poet of the arena. I'll tell you what I just saw, folks. A whooping. This kid's got skills. We got ourselves a new hero. Let's hear it for him, folks. Yeah, the great Gonzalez. Not too shabby for a first fight, Gonzalez. You got some promise. Anyways, I'll be heading out now. Go and get your fight money from Jolene. You guys are getting paid? Here's your fight money of five coins, Mr. Gonzalez. Ooh! I'm rich! Your rank went up because you met the conditions. The next fight will not be set up until you select rank match on the terminal. You can also check your current ranking on the terminal screen. Feel free to do whatever you like until your next fight. You have a nice day, Mr. Gonzalez. That's Grubba if they have Wario Land 4. Yo, Rook, how was your first fight? I'm King K, just a Bush League scrub like you. Good meeting you, man. You look like a stand-up dude. I think I can hang with you. Hey, so why don't you meet the gang, huh? This guy here is Mr. Crash. Nice to meet you, Bomb! Well, now that we've gotten to know each other, I will give you advice, Bomb! As Miss Jolene was saying, you'd better Bomb obey Mr. Grubba's conditions. If you can't clear the conditions and win, your rank won't go up even if you win the match, Bomb! Yeah, my man has, you know, some quirky speech going on, but his advice holds up most of the time. Not just sometimes, Bomb! Advice is always useful, Bomb Bomb! 
Right, man, whatever. Anyway, this lean machine over here is Bandy Andy. Yeah, nice to meet you. I'm not in here too often, but if you see me around, say hi. Oh yeah, if you sleep in the bed over there, your HP and FP will fully recover. It's not like the cushy bed in the champ's room, though. It doesn't refill star power. Okay, cool. And this last guy with the sweet purple kicks is known as Cleftor. Cleftor no like McFriend with mustache. Easy there, Clef, man. He isn't the friendliest guy, but you get used to him. Anyway, that's the core minor league crew. You need something, ask us. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. You and me are gonna have to square off eventually, so... Good luck, man. <laughs> oh no, wait, he already said that. Springs coming out. There's a box. Yeah, a little rest. Free rest in the bed. And I will dream about Wario Land 4 and the Game Boy Advance. <laughs> okay, let's do another fight, I guess. Oh, there's an exhibition match. I don't know what that is. Well, boy, Adi Gonzalez fixing for a fight, huh? Okay then, your next opponent will be... Ranked 18 in the Glitch Pit, the KP Coopers. Now listen, son, in this battle I want you to use at least one special move, okay? Crowd needs something flashy, you catch my, my drift? Give him a good show. Now get in there and blow the roof off, son. Hey, looks like your next, next match is against me. Good luck, man, to the both of us. all this match time. Follow me, bub. Bub. Scrub-a-dub bub in the tub. For our next battle, we got the merciless executioner, the great Gonzalez, and the shell machines of doom. Yep, a fight to the finish with the KP Coopers. We aren't going to lose to the likes of you. Meet my peeps, Gonzalez. I told you we were going to square off, and now it's on. Get yourselves ready to battle! Okay, so they want us to use special moves, but there's new tattleables here. That's a KP Koopa. It's a Koopa Troopa of a slightly different color. Looks like its abilities are just like any Koopa, so we ought to be a piece of cake. Don't go easy just because you know King K, Mario. That's what friends are for. Isn't King K like a YouTuber? Okay, one more tattle I gotta do. I thought King K was a rule. <laughs> That's a KP. Yeah, Koopa Troopa, different color. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. Sure, why not? Why not? And he wants us to use one of these, so we'll do we'll do that. We will do that. I just met this guy, but I'm gonna kill him with the power of the stars. I'm going to drop an asteroid on him. On his ass. Ooh. 
Okay, bye bye. I only got one star point for that. We got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez. What'd you expect, huh? We rock. I probably want to take a different partner out for some of these, because, like, Goombella's getting her lion's share of the dialogue. Hey, way to land a hand out a beat down out there, man. You beat me straight up. Could swing the other way next time, though. You know what I'm saying? Oh, are you coming on to me? Because <laughs> honestly, a lot of people have been doing that. <laughs> okay, more more fight. Oh boy, how to gonna Yeah, fix him for a fight. Okay, he will. It will be. The Pokey Triplets. I want you to avoid using any of them there flower points. Okay, I, yeah, I can do that. But I'm probably gonna want this guy out instead of Flurry. Okie doke. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to tattle them too, because we haven't encountered a Pokey before. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and... The Spike Terror Triplets? Yep, a fight to the finish with the Pokey Triplets. Um, okay, we can do this. Go ahead, touch us. It won't hurt too much. A lot of piranha plants in the crowd today. Okay, do not use FP. Do not use a single P. But I can do that. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. Oh. Okay. No FP at all. Don't use the bag. Don't use any bag. Go to the grocery store, you just gotta carry them in your arms. Oh, I pressed that way too early. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna hit this guy. And then I need to switch out Coop. Oh, yeah, I pressed that way too early. But I need you to, I need you to tell me about this man. That's a pokey. It's a cactus ghoul that's got nasty spines all over its body. Look at those spines. Those would totally hurt. If you stomp on it, you'll regret it. Pokies attack by lobbing parts of their bodies and by charging at you. They can even call friends in for help, so be quick about taking them out. Oh. Oh, okay. I really hope they keep these enemy designs for whatever the next Paper Mario ends up being. Likewise, I was never... <laughs> I was never super crazy about them using the modern designs, like the the on model designs. I don't know why. Maybe it's just nitpicking, but I always felt like the Yoshi's Island type designs looked way better. Were were way more interesting as well. We won. Cool. Oh man, we won. Oh, I did not expect this. 
Oh, the, the money's getting larger. The money's getting large. Hey, what's cracking, G-Man? Did you just finish beating down some poor fools or what? You're looking good, man. Good. The old King K wouldn't mind a little bit of your luck. Yeah, that'd be nice. Get in there, you. How many times do I have to tell you? That room is absolutely off limits. If you want to remain on our fight roster, you must follow the rules. And don't think I haven't noticed you following me. Stop that too. It's creepy. If you don't obey the rules, we'll ban you from the glitz pit. Understood? He didn't even answer. Again, dude? Man, you are just a magnet for trouble. <laughs> Sorry, King K. I didn't mean to bring the rules queen in here. Ah, uh, don't sweat it, B-Money. Jolene can take that tood and shove it up her nose. Why are you always chasing that girl anyway, man? Oh, you know, no particular reason. Now, if you folks will pardon me, I must be off. Yeah, he gonna get- he gonna get in some serious trouble, that guy. You know that cute little toad who's working a part-time gig in the lobby? I think the lady's got a little crush on me. Every time I walk past her, she's swooning. Oh, how do we tell him? You should always adjust your badges and partners according to your foe. BOMB! And do I even really need to bomb mention napping to heal your bomb HP and FP? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I do kind of need that right now. I do kind of be needing that. Oh, and I can skip. Cool, thank you. Rock, mustache is not bad. Okay, I guess n not much to do but get into another one. Oh wait, who who's next? The dead bones. Okay. So yeah, get get in a match with the bones. Okay. The dead bones. I mean, most bones. I mean, I guess no. I got some. I got. I was gonna say most bones are dead, but I got some. I mean, my bone. Are my bones dead? I mean, I'm alive and I got bones. Does that make my bones alive or? Okay, no, no items, okay. Real men don't need no trinkets to help them hand out a proper whooping, you hear? Now get in there and knock some heads the old-fashioned way, will you? <laughs> okay, wait, hang, hang on, before I go, I gotta do something. Okay. I will say one exception to me preferring the Yoshi's Island designs might be the dry bones. I mean, I don't dislike these dry bones, but they do kind of look a little weird, I will say. For our next battle, we got the merciless executioner, the Greg Gonzalez, and the bone banging rockers. Yep, a fight to the finish with the dead bones, as most of these are not. Here we go, darling. Time to shine. Your bones. I don't know. That just felt like how they. That just felt like the right voice to do. Don't use items. Okay. So. So I can use anything besides an item. Okay. <laughs> That was- that was fairly simple, yes. How did they get this high in the ranking? I mean, I guess most people don't have the Quake Hammer. Anytime you care for- anytime you care for another lesson, we'll be here. Oh, nine coins. 
such money has never been had before. Man, I heard you just knock some blocks off. Not bad, Double G Man. You're the real deal. The realest I've ever seen. Keep busting heads. And if anyone gives you lip, you just tell them King K said to back it up. Bzow! Ah! Hurts! Oh. Oh, what do you think's going on out there? Whoa, sounds like some poor sucker just earned himself a trip to the hospital. Hey man, this is a brutal sport sometimes, you know? This stuff happens. Ah, mustache is okay. Teamwork is important, Bomb. The match is not just for your personal glory, Bomb. If you want to win, you need to know how Bomb your partner fights. Okay, keep... What is an exhibition match? What is that? Okay. And choose their opponents. Ranking is not affected. There are no promoter requests. Okay. Okay, yeah. Money. Okay. Yeah, so it's basically if you want to refight... If you want to refight any of them. Right. Makes sense to me. Hmm. Excuse me. Spike Storm. Want to avoid special moves. A nice long battle. <laughs> what is that on the wall over there? It looks like... Is that like a footprint? Who's been walk who's been walking on the walls? <laughs> the spike bomb. Yeah, so I think this is another new type of enemy. So I'm probably going to want to get Goombella back out here. Yeah, it would be nice if I could get that quick switch. <laughs> I, I won't lie to you. Did that do any damage? Oh, take that. That did. Oh no, he has created another! That did no damage. Oh, okay. That's a spiny. Basically a spike-covered Koopa. Ugh, looks painful. These things have such high defense that you can't even hurt them when they roll up. Or you can't even hurt them when they roll up. Whatever the emphasis on that's supposed to be. So when they go back to normal, do all the damage you can and do it quickly. If you flip them over, their defense drops to zero. That's the time to take them out. Jumping on them is just plain stupid, so try to use a POW block or some other item. Oh yeah, a POW block, right. I think I got one of them. Yeah, here, here's one. Ow! What if that just, like, pierced Mario's skull, and that was the end of the game. Granted, I suppose that would have happened all the way back in Mario 1. You know, there's a lot of... Video games are seldom... Like, Mega Man is the only game where spikes, I think, are appropriately dangerous. Oh, this book doesn't answer my real question. Where does it keep all those spiny eggs? 
Okay. So let's uh let's do this. I'm not I'm not used to Mario jumping. Oh, hey, cool. Technical malfunction, but on in my benefit. Well, okay, Goombella, there's not much you can do here. So, uh, let's get Koops back out. Yes! The best thing that could have possibly happened. In here, in here. Not too hard so far, but these are the rookie league. These are the Pee-wee leagues. Pee-wee is here. He is in the roster. And we will be fighting him at some point. I think if we could, uh, get out of the minor league, that might be a good place to stop, but I don't know. Hey man, check this. I heard the hot dog stand outside's getting a new menu item that uses a mystic egg. Did you know? Their hot dogs can restore your HP and FP during a match. That's some serious nutrish. I'm not sponsored, yet. Just excited about some probably amazing hot dogs. You ought to snack out on one. Oh yeah, hot dogs are good. What do you guys like on your hot dogs? What do you eat on them? For me, it's usually just the plain old ketchup and mustard, but sometimes I'll have like a chili cheese. I usually don't do stuff like onions and relish and whatnot. Like, I don't know if it's like a autism thing. I heard it might be, but I just hate the way on onions feel on my teeth, you know? Ugh, mustache is good. I like, I like watching this guy's opinion of me slowly get better. Using items correctly is very important too, Bomb! You can buy items at the store outside the Glitz Pit, so take Bomb a look. Don't Bomb got the coin? You can always earn some more through exhibition matches. Fan of spicy brown mustard. Ooh, I haven't tried that. I like spicy brown mustard, but for some reason, putting it on a hot dog just never occurred to me. God, I'm kind of hungry right now. I might need to get something to eat after I'm done with this stream. I don't got no egg dog, though. <laughs> How hungry. Oh, <laughs> uh, that meme is stupid, but I find it very funny. Okay, no swapping... No swapping out partners. So, I'm gonna... I'm gonna assume... <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna be a new peep. No, no, wait. No, wait, I gotta hit the spring. I gotta hit the spring! No, not Goombella. Goombella's not a spring. Which is also what Sonic the Hedgehog says every other game. The Grim Death Burglars. A fight to the finish with the handed overs. Come on, Mario, let's get this over with. <laughs> We're awful quick, awful agile, and just plain awful. Just awful with no modifiers whatsoever. Okay, do not swap the part. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, get get all of them in there. Abandon it. That's a bandit. This scumbag tries to bump into you and grab coins. Jerk. If you time your guard well when he attacks, he won't be able to steal anything. Plus, the look on a bandit's face when you guard successfully is priceless. The bandit steals coins from you. Defeat him before he flees to get your coins back. 
All right. <laughs> She's right. That is pretty good. So I'm guessing the green ones do more damage. You know, I wonder if, like, they intended for you to encounter some of these enemies before this chapter, and they just couldn't find anywhere to put them. A big bandit. Basically a boss among ordinary bandits. He looks normal size to me. Like other bandits, it's still your items as well as your coins. Totally weak. Green! Yeah, so you gotta kill him before he gets away with your stuff. Which is true of real life as well. Oh. Note. Dustin does not encourage homicide. This is a joke. You know, unless they say Sticker Star is a good game. No, no, this is also a joke. Oh, but we're getting some actual experience now. Oh, not enough to kill him. Not quite enough. Oh, but the cube appears! Oh, and you can skip that. Very, very nice. This remake is very respectful of the player's time. <laughs> like, they were like... <laughs> they were like, y'all keep complaining about Thousand Year Door wasting your time. We are going to take that out, and you are going to realize this game for the 10 out of 10 that it is. So help us, God. <laughs> See, no biggie. Yes! Oh, hello, Callum. You, you tuned in right towards the end, probably. I might do a- I'm probably going to do a couple more fights, but then I might- I might stop. Because we, we spent a lot of time in Rogueport. You know, just kind of exploring. Doing some exploring. With Doran. Did you hear the latest, G-Man? My boy said they saw a stunning babe having a juice at the fresh juice shop. She likes juice, I like juice. We already have so much in common. Check her out for me, man. Yeah, I saw her. Still gotten to, st to stop by, which is what mattered. I mean, yeah, I appreciate it. I, I always appreciate people stopping by the streams, even if they're not here for very long. Because it, it shows that you, you, you thought about me. You know? And I, I appreciate that. Hey, it's the Great Mustache. You're a famous fighter, huh? Are you and Prince Mush pals? Welcome to the Gwitch Pit. Ow, I built- bit my stupid tongue. No one must know. The remake is real good. Heck yeah, it is. Oh, uh, what's going on out here? Oh. Uh. Move aside, my wannabe. My camera settings can't process minor leaguers. <laughs> Everyone wants a piece of the rock. It's a tough life. Here's a little free advice. Try to be me. Yeah, because everyone loves to rock. So, fun fact. In, I want to say, the German version of the game, this guy's name is Hawk Hogan. Just thought you'd like to know that. Ah, the champ, Rock Hawk. He sure has the star quality you'd expect from a champ. But know what? Who cares? Everyone knows we're going to be the next champions. I think they changed it for the remake. Oh, did they? That's... That's sad. Not entirely unexpected, but sad. No, stop that at once! This behavior is unacceptable in a foodstuff! I insist you desist! Oh, hey, it's Nintendo. They're se making me cease and desist. No, please, come back to me! Someone help! My rare imported egg has escaped! Please catch it! 
Okay, get the egg. I am the egg man. And I have the master plan. Oh no, now it's on top. Can I bring up the gritty mod someone made for this game? Uh, sure, why not? Absolutely unacceptable in a polite society. What is your favorite chapter in TTYD? Honestly, it's hard to say. I feel like, based on what I remember, I, I really like this one. Uh, I really like chapter four. And then I'm a big fan of, I want to say chapter six. I, I think it was. But I mean, honestly, I don't think there's any real bad chapters in this game. <laughs> but I love absolutely unacceptable in a polite society. Oh, it makes war Mario's walk cycle the gritty. Okay, well, I need to correct you here. Yeah, chapter six is like really cool. But uh, I need to correct you here. It's not the gritty, it's the gritty. <laughs> But also, that's a shame. Also, why did they do that? <laughs> no, Mi Mi Miyamoto saw that and they're like, no, under no circle, not in a polite society is Mario allowed to do the gritty. I insist you come down at once, Egg. How am I supposed to reach you up there? Fly like a common sparrow? I I know I don't know why I know that it's the gritty, but <laughs> I don't know. It's a, it's a little strange that I know that and you don't. I won't I won't lie to you. You're supposed to be the Gen Z here, dude. Come on, you gotta you gotta step it up. Well, I've done it. I'm now an official sponsor of the Glitz Pit. Simply marvelous. But what I do with my scads of cash of little import. Best of luck to you, sir. I'm a hodge pilot, I swear. Yeah, I mean honestly, me too. Because I'm- I'm- I was born right in that period where I'm too young to be a millennial, but I'm too old to be Gen Z. <laughs> I think some people have taken to calling them Zillennials. This is the first time in my life I've witnessed combat sports firsthand. How repugnant! Boorish ogres grappling about, caterwauling. I find it absolutely barbarous. Ah, oh, so unfair. This stinks. I really, really wanted to eat that super whatever hot dog. Where else can I get one? Daddy, get me one. Breast juice. <laughs> We're the rough and tumble battling and traveling sisters three. Boy, those major league matches just get us so energized. Our knuckles get white, our hearts start pounding, and we snack like no tomorrow. I have a trivia question for you pertaining to this game. Okay. First, let me go over here and get this egg. I bet you were wondering what that was for. For getting egg. Huh? Did you hear that, Mario? You don't want to be eating little eggy-weggy? I mean, I can imagine the egg... The egg is clearly sentient and fertilized. So, I can, I can understand, unless we're serving Balut. It's so adorable. What should we do, Mario? Should we help? <laughs> Let there be hot dogs. You can, you can, uh, the, one of the best things about Paper Mario is you can just have Mario be such an asshole. <laughs> like, you can be canon Mario or you can be fan animation Mario. You get the choice. Some characters have multiple tattles depending on when and where in the game they are. Which character in the game has the most tattles? I'm gonna guess Lord Crump. If it's not him, then it might be one of the shadows. Well, I guess if you're gonna say that, Mario, then I guess we should help. Mr. Hot Dog Stand Guy, it looks like this egg doesn't want to be eaten. It's okay to let it go, right? Oh, very well, fine. I suppose there's not much market for cuisine that jumps, anyway. Oh, referring to field tattles, not just battle tattles. Oh, I... I don't know. Maybe Dupree? 
Awesome, did you hear that, little eggy waggy? You're free! See you around. Huh? What is it now, Eggy? You wanna follow us? Is that it? I'm pretty sure our little buddy here wants to hang out with us. Do we let it? Yeah, I mean, I I, I can have an egg in my entourage. egg tourage. You hear that, little guy? Just make sure not to get in our way, though, okay? Ah, so it is Dupree. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah. Oh, everybody gone. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Sometimes he mixes up and says it weird and funny. I think that's so cute. You hear that, boys? I got a chance! Well, hello, Mr. Mustache. So you're a fighter now, hmm? Well, I suppose I'll cheer you from the shadows, my sweet. You still have not explained what you were doing here. <laughs> now, I ain't saying she's a gold digger. Luigi has five unique tattles. Then I need to keep tattling him. Blitz bit security. Has to keep watch. Works out all the time. He's buffer than the fighters. Hey there, Gonzalez. How's it going? Go good. Me? I'm doing a little research. Hey, speaking of which, ever hear of the Seven Wonders of the Glitz Pit? No. Yeah, this place has rumors and secrets and spades, but... The Seven Wonders of the Glitz Pit are the most mysterious of the bunch. These things fascinate me, so I wander around doing research on them. Well, how about it? Want to hear about the Seven Wonders or not? Oh, okay. <laughs> this is a huge lore dump. They say there's a sealed wall in the Minor League locker room. Some say, the remains of fallen athletes are stored in there. The man-eating toilet. Skibbity-bop-bop! Sorry. They say, in one of the arena's bathrooms, a man-eating toilet lurks. Some say that anyone who sees this toilet never sees anything again. They say, there's a room in the glitz pit with a second floor, but no stairs. They say, no one has ever gone upstairs. And some say that groaning voices sometimes come from that second floor. The haunted... Bedouar? Boudoir? How do you say that? They say that the champion's room is haunted. Some say, if you keep still in the room, you'll hear vis voices whispering from nowhere. Somebody once described Glitzville as the actual horror-themed chapter of the game. Yeah, it's a little... It's like... Realism horror. <laughs> Some even say the voices are athletes who lost to the champion. Spooky ring lights. My friend's friend's friend told me this one. And I knew this guy who knew this guy who knew this guy who knew this guy's cousin. He said he saw a strange light leaking under the ring doors when no one was there. He couldn't see inside since the doors were locked. I plan to investigate this myself. The missing ones. They say sometimes fighters disappear for no reason, never to return. Some say that the very first champion, Prince Mush, was spirited away in this way. Grubba is a strange one. His body is incredibly toned, even though he's past 60. He must have an exceptional training regimen. Then there's the matter of Miss Jolene. They say she suddenly vanishes at times. Some say a fighter saw her go into the bathroom and waited for her to come out. But she never did. Huh? You think it's stranger that someone staked out her bathroom? Good point. <laughs> yeah, that's a little creepy. You know, it's possible the Seven Wonders are just gossip and rumors. But I've got to tell you. I think they're real, and I think they're sketchy. I smell a rat behind all of this, and someday I'll solve all of these mysteries. If you ever want to know more about this stuff, just say the word, okay? Okay. 
So I used up an item, so I can probably grab this hot dog. You know, hot dog that's just sitting on top of a <laughs> on top of a staircase. I'm, I'm sure it's sanitary. Let me see how much how much more we got in the minor league because we're about two hours and thirty minutes in. Ah, yeah. So you want to you want to sit next to the spring, do you? Yeah, I got you. I got you. So let's see which one is. Okay. So I think I'm gonna stop it here. And then we'll do the rest of chapter three next time. Well, first I'm gonna save again because I'm I get nervous. I get nervous when I don't save. I gotta get that hit. But yeah. Fun. What color Yoshi are you hoping for? Uh you know, whatever I get, I get. <laughs> that's my- that's my logic. Spoilers, though. Shh. Anyway, I'll see you guys around. Uh, have a good night.